Hello and welcome back to another video where today you join us at a 50 lap race here at the amazing team sport Sheffield. This track is absolutely brilliant and I had so much fun. Oh, oh. Um, don't mind that. Um, where were we? Uh, ah, yes, Team Sport Sheffield. An incredible track with so many twists and turns. That, oh, come on. We'll get to this a little later. Keep watching to see what happened with that. But anyway, all joking aside, this track was so much fun. So much narrower than I was expecting from what I'd seen online. This was my first time here at Team Sport Sheffield, so I didn't know what to expect. So I decided to throw myself in the deep end with a fifth. 50 lap race. Yes, a 50 lap race around this twisty tight track starting with a random grid down in 12 with the goal of picking up some silverware for the podium. So the goals are set, drivers gridded up and it's lights out and away we go at Team Sport Sheffield. And right from the start we're there bouncing away trying to get a good start and it's absolute carnage. We're getting battered around but we actually managed to make up two positions but drop one a bit managed to make that back. Keep an eye on Goose on the right there. He is quite a fierce competitor in the red there. We managed to get round quite clean on the second corner there with Goose just on our left there. He's a regular member, I was told, here at Team Sport Sheffield. So that was someone that I was wanting to base my progress off in this race. So we give a little bit of a love tap to uh, Goose there. Not on purpose. I think we were getting bashed around from memory. But this part of the track was so tight and it's so narrow. We keep getting absolutely battered from behind and in front but it allows us to manage to slip down the inside here and get a beautiful double overtake one is now up to fifth place on the first lap we managed to close the door just on the left a little bit just so they have to back out of that corner there and we're now chilling in fifth position by the end of the first lap this bit of the track was so much fun managed to get yourself caught all the way over the right there so you can swoop round for this left so you have enough speed for this main straight is absolutely beautiful you can already see there is the first red light of the session. Very nearly got bashed into the back there by the cart behind, but I thought it'd be nice and move forward while they were sorting out the person behind and let the driver go back in front of us there. But we're back to yellows. The marshals managed to sort it out pretty quick, and we have a lovely slow time of two minutes on the first lap there. Something I didn't appreciate, actually, was because this track is a minute long, is a 50-lap race. It's actually a 50-minute race, so it's definitely bang for your buck if you want to go to a team sport to do a 50 lapper. We managed to get another overtake there of a little switch back on the guy we let through before. I lost my tires just a little bit there, but we're chilling in fourth and we can see third, second and third all in our size. Third place loses a bit of grip there. I really struggle with that corner, but we're on the back of 23 and we should be able to send it down the inside, but we don't manage to because 23 manages to defend it there. But we can get them here just before the hairpin, before the ramp. And absolutely beautiful. We squeeze them to the barrier um, and we can get ourselves up the ramp. I'm panicking here because I know Goose is suddenly on my tail. So now we have a red light. So one lap later, we've got another red. Um, but as you can see, we've got second and first just in front of us. So we are not far off. We've got them in our sights. It's now our job to put in those laps while the back markers are still quite far away and catch up to second there. So we're pushing and pushing. The last lap because of the red flag was a 140, so not the best. But we're going to keep trying to get second, put in those consistent laps and see what we can do. You can see here we're now getting closer. Lap by lap, you can see that second is getting closer on sites. And we've now caught up to some bat markers. So second is trying to weave the way through as fast as possible. And so am I. So I send it down the inside here and we managed to make that as clean as possible. And you can really see the gap to second has now well and truly closed. As I think they didn't manage to quite get through the bat markers as well as we did there. We are really trying to push on to second now. You can see the gap has well and truly closed and poor person in second is now starting to look over their shoulders as they've started to notice we are well and truly catching up. There they are, panicking, looking over the shoulders. We're gaining, so we managed to get a better exit, but they've got nothing to worry about as what on earth was that? <laughs> An absolutely appalling take on that corner for me there. And again, here, way too deep. I think the pressure's starting to get to me a little bit. You can't quite see it, but Goose is right behind me in fourth in the red suit. But we managed to catch up here, and we get the overtake done using the back marker to block our second. And that gets us up to second place now. 
Um, now, at this point, I am panicking. I've never come first in a team sport race ever, and first place is just in front of me. I know I'm absolutely gunning for it. Um, I'm putting in the laps. The last lap we did um, was a one minute one. Our best one was currently a one minute in this race. Um, but we just need to start getting some of these corners right, which we did it there because I know Goose is right on my tail. Absolutely sending shivers through my spine. We had Goose right behind us and the guy that we overtook in second is now in fourth. So all three of us are racing for our life. But that's exactly what I needed, I think. Because even though with some of those slip-ups, um, we were still able to make a uh, catch-up with first place. So you can see the gap is really closing down. But you can also see the panic on my helmet cam there and me constantly looking over my shoulders because every single time goose was just there my back left and um, so all i was doing constantly was defending trying to uh, <laughs> chop off his lines so he couldn't send it down the inside like here he's trying to go on the left of me so i try and block it off as much as i can and gosh it was panic but in all that panic we managed to win 59 8 which is our currently our fastest lap of the race so even though we messed up this corner down here we're really setting in some good lap times and we mess it up again and you can see the panic in my eyes it's just constantly looking behind me but now this is where we start to catch up with bat markers well and truly first place is there in the middle we're trying to get past them as fast as possible. I think I end up having to back out. Go for a little switch back. We tap them slightly, which means Goose is right on our tails. The panic that is going through me right now. We go for another switch back. Managed to make it stick. Goose is absolutely all over the back end of my car. However, we set another 59.9 that last lap. So we really get some consistent laps in now. And we're taking that corner much, much better, meaning we should be catching to that first place guy that is right there. And um, this is another member, I believe, that races at Team Sport Sheffield. So I knew if I managed to get him, I'd be in good standings for the podium. So we keep on going. We get past this back marker that lets first place through. I pray that they're going to let me through. I just have to commit to it, and they do. Thank goodness, but it meant I took that corner quite tight, and it goes red. And because we were on the ramp, obviously, I may have taken a bit of leniency to go a bit closer to first than I should have done. But I do let first go off ahead a little bit when they go on the restart, as you can see here. But that doesn't matter much because it goes green just as we come around the corner. So we get a much better exit. He's stuck on the hill and we are off catching first. Here we go. Can we get them this lap? It's very, very doable, but can we manage it? Let's find out. So we're now bumper to bumper, but as they look over my shoulders, so is Goose. Goose is here. It is a three-way battle for this first place contention right now. And hopefully we take this corner okay. We do. We get a very good exit. We stick to first place's bumper. And I can see a gap starting to open up. So we decide to go deeper. So we can hopefully get the overtake done here. We don't manage it quite just yet. So we have to follow them around onto the ramp hairpin. He doesn't take it too well. So we get a much better exit. Can we go down the inside? We try. We go for it. Round the outside overtake. However, we've got a bat mark in the way. So I have to yield to position. Give it back to first place. And now we take this corner so, so tight. Both of us and Goose will have been laughing behind us as he will have caught up so much time with much better lines. But we get a much better exit out of this corner as we fight down to the first heaven. We send it down the inside. We hit the barrier slightly. He's now side by side, but we are able to close it off there. So he has to back out. And it is a beautiful bit of overtaking on that second corner there. Using that barrier um, to defend the position is absolutely beautiful. And I'm in first. I'm in first place for the first time ever at Team Sport. I was absolutely buzzing with this. Um, so when the panic is setting in, where all I need to do now is put in consistent good laps and we'll be fine. And you can see when we jump a few laps ahead, we're starting to catch up with people. So I knew it was time to get my head down, get some overtakes done, and let's put in some good laps. So now we're 16 laps into this race and this is when we're well and truly catching up with Batmar because we tried to go around the outside and we get squeezed to the barrier. I am not happy with it because Goose manages to go through 
and overtake us. We've dropped down to second with three people in between us and Goose. And at this point, I was absolutely distraught. For the past few laps, Goose was catching, but then I managed to get around back markers slightly quicker than him, so we build a little bit of a gap. I'm in absolute panic mode now. Goose is off. He's racing. I slightly tap a cart here as well, and this is where it all starts to go downhill. Obviously, we... We went for an overtake down the outside on the up ramp and we'd also tap the person there. And I knew in the back of my mind, especially for the tap, we were going to get something for that. So as we come up the hill here, I'm panicking. I'm trying to get past people. And what do you know? We come around this corner here and we get our first penalty point of the session. So we got ourselves a three second penalty. I see it. I gasp a little bit in my helmet, but it's fine. Goose is just in front. We know if we get our head down, we get back into first. A three-second gap is not insane. We can do a three-second gap. Our current fastest lap is a 59.2. But as you can see, we're a little bit all over the place. As we come around this corner, little did I know I was about to get myself the first black flag I have ever received at a team sport. I don't know if it's for the ramp going up the hill, if it's for that little contact with the guys we came around the corner. But you can see here, I really come off the gas and I just, I just go into like limp mode. I just, I come out of racer mode. I was just a bit gassed to be honest. I was distraught. I, this is the first time I could have got first place at a team sport race. And instead, we've dropped down to second currently and now about to go into the pits. And because this track is so big and I'm really not pushing it right now, it was it was a nightmare situation, to be honest. But I could see all these people coming up in front of me. Um, I could see it was getting very, very busy. Goose is just there and then off into the pits. I shoot for essentially a 40 second penalty overall. Um, and let's have a listen to what the marshal said. So, yeah, I agree. There was some contact looking around that corner. And on the ramp especially, um, I, I don't think I did anything wrong on the ramp. I do agree with the contact on the corner, but I don't know if that's the one he was talking about. Because um, I spoke to the marshals after the race, and they were talking about the ramp when I went around the outside. But if you re-watch that clip, I really lose out in that situation, and it's not my fault. But you can see now, as I've come out of the pits, I'm just getting stuck behind people. I'm really panicking about sending it. That black flag has sent us all the way back to fourth. You can hear me groaning. I'm fuming with the situation but i know if i just get my head down there's a chance we still could get on that podium i get hit in the back there which kind of ruins us a little bit for that corner um we're trying to go around the outside we get squeezed people really were not looking over their shoulders i was not having a good time at this point to be honest i was a bit down in the dumps um I'm just trying anything, to be honest, to get back to that podium. But like I said, I know if I get my head down, there is a chance we'll be able to catch up. So I knew there's about a 40, 30 to 40 second gap that essentially I had to make back up to get back to that podium position. So as we go red here, we've been setting some good laps. The fastest was a 59.1, but I realized as we stop here, I recognize that helmet. That helmet is who we were battling for third earlier, which must mean we've managed to catch up with this guy. So this suddenly gave me a new lease of hope to try and dial in and get those laps done. But I'm near certain at this point that he is our third place contender. So we start pushing. If we manage to do it once, we can do it again. So we get our head down and we really try and start to make that gap a lot smaller than it currently is. And you can already see out of this bit here, we're starting to gain. We took that much better. We take the hairpin and due to us being quite a small guy, um, we can get up that ramp quicker. But you can see... The guy decides to let us pass. He knows we're probably going to get him. We say thank you and thank you very much for putting us into third place. Now, like I said, I in my head, I have no clue at this point where I am in terms of positions. I know we were battling him for third earlier, but I think in my head, I thought we were like fourth or fifth. So I'm still absolutely pushing to the absolute limit to try and catch up to that top three in my mind. Not, not knowing that we actually were already in third and that we could potentially get higher. 
So we know in front from our point of view now that we've got Goose and we've got someone else. But like I said, I thought there was a hell of a lot more people in front. And due to it being a 50 lap race on a one minute track, it's absolutely massive in terms of like the gaps between people. And you can see here, all that push was worth is we got a new PB there. I believe it was a 59 nearly flat we got there. We managed to get even lower um, later on in the race, but it was nice that the marshals there to show us um, the board there. And it's, uh, you know, I, the marshals brought us in. At the end of the day, they're just doing their job and trying to reduce the amount of contact on track. So I understand why I got brought in. Um, I just, I, the, I, the board, the board could have been good enough. Like, a 30 second penalty coming to the pits was quite, quite strict. A no contact board probably um, would have been just fine. But it's all good. Um, as we're here now, you can see how many people were having to fight through. And it is gone absolutely carnage. Um, it's all that talk about no contact. But there is, it's impossible to get through this many people without rubbing a little bit of shoulder. So we try our best not to hit people. I think we get squeezed here and there's nothing we can do. I weigh my hands and I apologize to the guy. It's not really his fault. It's more the person behind. But it goes red. And look how far everyone else stops compared to me. I roll forward a little bit just so I can see the light easier. But it doesn't really matter because I knew even if I was in the midst of all that packed, like, I'd still have to try and get past them. Um, but annoyingly, they let everyone through on the yellow bar me. So I have to absolutely go for it as soon as it goes green. Um, and we know there's this massive pack coming up. But I did also know if we got a good run out of the corner, we'd be able to get them on these first few corners. So we managed to get a switch back done here. And um, keep our foot down. And we have to defend a little bit, squeezing into the barrier. Um, and then hopefully we can get the person in the pig helmet cover. Um, here we're not quite fast enough, um, but this is just absolute carnage. Like, there, there's no way you can't not accidentally tap people when this, it's this close together, and none of it's intentional. And um, I loved overtaking on this spot here, and um, sending it down the inside, throwing it through, um, and then, like I say, due to me not being the tallest person in the world, going up that ramp was a massive advantage for me. There was a little bit of a crash on the left there, and because the petrol carts, as soon as you get hit then it really kills the car and puts it into limp mode, especially when you're on a ramp or anything like that, which is what happened to me, obviously, on this corner here. I got hit, um, and there was no acceleration because the revs were just nowhere near high enough, so Goose could just go flying past me. We sent it down the inside here. A um, little bit of a naughty overtake, but we try and keep it as clean as possible. So we get to this point here. We're bumper to bumper. We're going to send it down the inside. We try for the double overtake. We don't quite manage it. Car 18 actually takes that corner very nicely there, closing the door down. Um, but we know if we get a better exit here by the end of this corner and the next one, we should be absolutely fine. If you just keep bumper to bumper here, they skid a little bit so they won't be as good no acceleration. I want to send it, but it's way too far back and we have much better grip. I apologize for hitting them there, but obviously there's nothing we could do. We're both side by side. I go a bit deeper to try and take the corner, but we come around here. It goes yellow like conditions, and they just go off. After all that nice words I had to say about them, they go flying down, and I have my eyes peeled on the yellow light. I complain a little bit, but then I stare at that light ready for it to go back to yellow light conditions. Um, it goes back to green just before we get to the ramp, which is beautiful, which means because they were on the ramp, they were a bit stuck with their revs. So, car 18, you got what came for you. You cheat on the reds, um, you'll get done on the ramp. We were there, we got back markers left, right, center. Me and car 18 are having a battle here. I try a little switch back. Um, it doesn't quite work. They've got the inside line now. As long as I keep the grip, I bump them a little bit there. Um, I know I can get them on one of these corners, but they just are now defending all over the place, which is putting them off the line here. Um, but hopefully, if I can use some of these bat markers around here, they'll struggle to get past them, and I can do a nice naughty overtake. So, going up to the hairpin corner here, um, they're taking a very tight line, and like because I'm shorter, we should hopefully be able to keep up with them, and we do manage to. They take a very defensive line. We go wider, and now, for certain, we should have them here. As long as we don't tap them on the uphill, we shouldn't lose any revs. And by the time we get to the call, we don't manage it. They defend it. Oh, all I want to do is get past car 18. You'd think we were fighting for second place here, but we really were not. We were just having an incredible battle. So <laughs> absolutely 
<laughs> brilliant fight from 18 there. Squeezing me to the barrier and I'm stuck. And I know that every second I'm stuck behind cart 18, that second and first is just going further and further out of my sight. So I know at some point I need to absolutely send it down the inside and get past car 18. They managed to get past the back marker, but we are so bumper to bump with them. And we just hopefully we can get a better exit here. We try. We're there. We're side by side. We've got slightly better exit. We squeeze them a little bit to lift the back out the corner. And it's now ours. We keep an eye over shoulder just in case they're there to get from the room. But that is ours. We've managed the overtake. It only took about four laps, but we got there in the end. We're now on lap 32 of the race. Obviously, in these races, they go on for so long, you have absolutely no clue where you are in terms of position, where you are in terms of laps, how long it's left. So in my mind, I've just got to keep my head down and potentially we can catch up to Goose. And I think it's at this moment here, I see Goose on my left-hand side go past me. There he is. The guy that we've been trying to beat this whole time is now on the other side of the track. So he's about 30 seconds in front, um, which isn't that insane. And as we're getting to this point now, I, like I say, I'm just putting in laps. I'm trying my best to catch up with Goose. But as we go red here, I recognize a helmet in front of me. That is the guy we were battling for first with earlier. So, obviously, Goose must have overtaken him at some point. He's now in first. But he is our second place person. It was at this point I realized how close we were to that top position. So, it was head down. Let's catch up to this guy in front and let's get our second place back. So, we're now bumper to bumper with 26, trying our best to get past. And it was by about this point I realized the best place to overtake him was getting a good exit out of this corner, ready for this main straight. And we actually managed to do the overtake we tried earlier that we got black flagged for. And we make our way up to second place now in this race. We've still 10 laps to go. We are now right on the chase for Goose. And this is when we really get one of our fastest laps of the day. Well, ever, because it's our first time here at Team Sport Sheffield. We do manage um, to set our new PB. So I'm going to let this lap play out. It's a beauty. Enjoy. And with that lovely fast lap over, that was it. Checkered flag. There was nothing more I could do. Goose had won the race. And we somehow managed to battle it all the way back to second, even with all the penalties and the black flag. And as soon as I came off the track, I went straight up to Goose, gave that man a good old fist pump, as it was an absolutely brilliant battle between us. But second, I can't believe it. Um, an unbelievable result. Uh, to say what happened during the race. And to be honest with you, Team Sport Sheffield, I can't recommend enough. If you love a tight, twisty track that's also fast flowing and you still love those petrol carts, then get yourself down there. I had an absolute blast here today. Um, still holding out for that first place in a Team Sport 50 lap, but I'm sure it will come one day. Um, but yeah, thank you very much to all the members of staff at Team Sport Sheffield. Had a lot of fun while I was there. Let us know if you have any tips down in the comments so that 58.915 defo can be beat um, and I'd love to come back to Sheffield to try and complete it. Let us know what other tracks we should go check out as well in our go-karting adventures. But that's it from me. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.